Yo, Rod here, Future Save Bit. Surely everybody knows the C64's loading speed from disk drive is a little bit poor. Well, we all know that, but we also know that if you've got yourself a Final Cut 3 or an Action Replay or an Epic Fast Load or an Jiffy DOS, it's nowhere near as awful. So in this video, I'm going to show you how really awful it is and how not awful it is. Um, I think a lot of us already know the results. But hey, stay tuned for science. So, how long does it take to load Mayhem in Monsterland uh, from a real disk drive with no fast loader? Are you ready? So that was about 1 minute 15 up until it wanted me to type in run and the wiggly lines. Right, and now we have SD2 IC with no fast loader at all, totally native, naive, um, dull, slow mode. Let's see how we do. And this should also answer my my theory that SD2 IC is generally quicker than a real disk drive, simply because there's no drive mechanics. There it goes, one minute. That is just under half the time of a real disk drive, so... That's the drive mechanics um, saving you the time, but um, okay, so let's load again. This time with Jiffy DOS loading from a real disk drive again. I may or may not have to type run. That was about 13 seconds before I typed run. Right, next up we have SD2 IEC and the Jiffy DOS ROM. With Jiffy DOS ROM, we didn't know you have to install it inside the machine. It's a chip and it's licensed. You can still buy them now. Do that. Okay, that was about three seconds. That was a bit... Um, there we are then. No drive mechanics, you see. So it's always going to be quicker than a 1541 because there's no heads to move. Here we go again. This is the epic fast load with a real disk drive, remember? How many seconds? That was about 17 seconds. Not bad. SD2 IEC and epic fast load. Here we go. Oh, that was four, four and a half seconds. That'll do. Now the action replay. This is one I had back in the day. Real disk drive, real action replay. Wow, that took about seven seconds. That was about seven seconds. That's incredible. Right, next up we have the Action Replay. Now, interestingly, the SD2 IC isn't technically compatible with the Action Replay, so um, let's see how it copes. I'm assuming it will just load at normal speed. Okay. That was about a minute and three seconds. So still actually uh, faster than a real disk drive with no fast load attached. Interesting. Hmm. Okay, now the final cart three. Real disk drive. Actual phone. An emu. Wow. That was quick. That was about 11 seconds, I think. That was really quick. Final cartridge three, SD2 IEC, go. Ooh, that was about four seconds. Whoops. Yep, four seconds. Can't complain about that. Um, I think science has, um, tells us that uh, if you are using a Commodore uh, disk drive, you definitely need to get some sort of fast load cartridge. Be it uh, a Jiffy DOS, which is obviously a chip upgrade available now still. Um, the final cartridge 3, that's a, a good upgrade to have. Uh, uh, 
epic fast load cartridge that's a good upgrade to have as well or even the um, action replay which is unlabeled a lot of these were unlabeled um, but an SD2 IEC will actually run at nearly twice the speed just because of drive mechanics just the simple fact that there's no heads moving around an SD2 IEC will appear to actually be quicker than a real drive which is amazing um, if you really think about it uh, but um, yeah the myth has been dispelled. You can load things from SD2 IEC or with real disk drive in under seven seconds. I was getting four seconds of this fella. Crazy. Links below, like and subscribe. Bye.